What's up, what's up, my LV besties? I hope you guys are all having a great day. I have had a good day, but a long day. I'm filming in the afternoon, and then I'm gonna edit, and it'll probably be up about midnight tonight. But I've got a good video for you guys. I mean, it's the end of December, it's the end of the year. This is going to be the last unboxing you guys will see from me this year. But I'm not only unboxing one bag, but I'm unboxing three bags. And here's the thing. I'm unboxing a Louis Vuitton bag, a YSL bag, and a Gucci bag. Okay? So I'm going to unbox those three and compare those three. This will be my first YSL bag, so I'm excited to see it. And on the Louis Vuitton bag, I have one of these in the reverse mono, but you guys know I'm a monogram canvas person through and through, so it's hard for me to pass up a monogram bag, and just because I have it in reverse monogram doesn't mean I'm not going to love it just as much in the regular iconic monogram, you guys. So, let me, I'll tell you the backstory on that one. I know I showed you guys the blue Speedy 20, okay? It had the pretty shimmer, shimmering shine to it okay well let me tell you guys and i know i like welcome her into the family and all and then i feel bad whenever i do that and i decide i don't like them but from the day that i showed you guys that bag and i know i said all that oh i'm gonna keep her forever uh yeah all that blah 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 stuff um well she never made it out of the dust bag and out of the box and even into my display cases. I don't know. Like, I have it in the monogram and I have it in the black empreinte. Okay, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. That, but in the speedy, I don't know. It just really doesn't appeal to me. I don't see myself carrying it. My husband was like, hey, we know you're not going to carry that bag. You might as well just go take it back and get something that you are going to carry. And I was like, yeah. And then I thought about it. I finally said, you know what? I have not even took this bag out of the dust bag. Still, it's got to go. It's got to go. To me, I think if you're, going, if you're going to spend the money on one of these luxury bags, you should definitely, definitely make sure it's going to be one you carry. And I am guilty of buying bags that I don't carry or bu buying them and not carrying them for a good while afterwards. And so my goal for 2022 is to put the bag, all the bags that I have to use and carry them all. That's what I'm going to do. And um, and then on the ones that I do not carry or do not find myself carrying much or want to carry or it hurts my back or whatever, I'm going to list on my site and I'm going to get rid of them, okay? So anyways, that's my plan for 2022 is to be a little more mindful of what I buy and not just jump on every little trend that comes out, you guys. Half the time... I'm not caring for the bags, to be honest with you guys, because I am, for some reason, stuck on the canvas bags. I love the, the Empreinte leather bags. I love the Cousins, but there's just some, I mean, I've wasted money on, to be honest with you guys, and whenever I go to sell these bags, I'm not going to get my money out of them, and the reason why is because the ones that I don't care for are the ones that do not really hold the value as well the canvas bags they're going to hold their value all day long every day i mean for that that's just how it is with louis vuitton and i the canvas bags are what i love so like i said i'm going to be more mindful of what i buy in 2022 use more of what i have make more videos with what i've got but since i did not want the blue speedy 20 i was going to just actually do a return but then whenever i seen the bag that I, i'm going to unbox for you guys i was like oh my gosh i gotta have <laughs> like i need i want that one because i know it's a bag i will use for sure these are one of my favorite bags um again it's a monogram bag and then on the gucci bag that i ordered it was one that i was showing you guys um a while back there was two colors i was debating on 
and I went ahead and took some of my Christmas money and I'd recently sold a bag and I went and got a Gucci bag. I went with the most popular vote, which was the one I was eyeing more anyways. And my YSL bag is one that I ordered off a of fashion file. I had put it on reserve. I don't I, I want to say you pay them out for 30 or 45 days. I'm not real sure. So I've been paying on this one for a little bit. and But it's a new bag. So I know I've told you guys before. I'm really not one to get on and spend a couple thousand dollars on a bag that shows wear and tear. I'm just not going to do it. I mean, five or six hundred, sure. But I just can't bring myself to spend even a thousand or more on something. Unless it's in excellent condition. That's understandable. But... I prefer new or excellent condition for sure and this one was actually a new bag had never been carried so I'm excited to unbox the one from fashion file and show you guys that one but yeah so we're gonna go out with a bang with YSL Gucci and Louis Vuitton okay and then but first I'm gonna show you guys what I'm carrying right now and that is my graceful MM in a Damier Abin my fave with the red interior I switched all my things over to her today. I have this little pretty charm hanging on her. I got my initials on the tag. So yeah, that's what I'm carrying today. And then I'm also gonna compare these three bags and then I'm gonna compare the prices so we can kinda look and see who's the winner of the better bag. But you guys know, I'm a Louis Vuitton girl. Next comes Gucci and I'm about to say about YSL. When I looked at them, they looked pretty good. They don't have a lot of different styles of bags, but that's okay. Because do we really just need a lot of different style bags? I mean, am I one to ask? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> because if you look at my collections, yeah, I'm not one to ask. But I'm also one that needs to take lessons and learn that we don't need everything that comes out. However, I'm super excited about the denim collection coming out with Louis Vuitton. That I'm excited about. But one of my SA sent me this one bag, uh, or it was a Pachette Matisse, but it was in like this orangey color leather. I don't know. It had some like yellow stitching. I can't really recall all the details of it, but I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because I'm simply going to just buy this bag only because it's new and it's a. it was probably a... A collection piece and I'm never going to use it or I'm going to use it once or twice and never touch it again and I'm trying not to do that anymore because guess what guys we're building a home and two or three grand is um, a lot that can go into my home for whatever like I need, I need to just be more mindful with my money bottom line okay but we're gonna go out with the bang you guys we got we are so let's start with YSL because I cannot wait to see this because I don't have again I've, this is my first one and I have no problem buying off a of fashion file I've bought off bought from them before everything here I go with these scissors again you guys one day I'm gonna learn one day you see how long it takes me to learn with the bags that I buy one day I'm gonna get a box cutter if I went and looked hard at my husband's shop he probably has one but I haven't done that because I don't think about it until I go to unbox <laughs> But anyways, what do you guys all have planned for the New Year's? Does anybody have any big, fun, exciting plans? Anybody on vacation? I wish I were. This, this time two years ago, I seen on my Facebook memories, we were on a cruise and we were in Jamaica. And I was like, oh. And that's when my son proposed to my daughter-in-law that I have now. It was such a special trip. Y'all, I am... I am the worst at opening these boxes. And they don't play. They really don't. Like, I'm going to stab myself. We're going to have a whole other video, you guys, on why I injured myself over some darn luxury bags. Y'all, my birthday's coming up in January. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. I'm going to be 21 again. Yay, me, 21. Just kidding, I'm going to be 31. Just joking. <laughs> 31. That's what I'm going to be. 
That's what I'm going to be, you guys. Do y'all believe me? 31 with a 25-year-old daughter. Y'all think that's possible? Oh, my. Y'all, if y'all want to get off this video, just get off. I don't blame you because I am, I'm butchering, butchering it. Jeez Louise. Okay. And then when I stand up, I always have, like, the stuff on my shirt because I'm sitting here, like, doing all this business with the scissors, and it's just getting all over me. Okay. We're making progress. If you're still hanging in, thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys, for hanging in there. Good gosh. That was chaos. Okay. Progress has been made. <laughs> Fashion file, you are really making things difficult. By the way, can y'all see my beautiful necklace that I have on? That's my mother-daughter necklace that my baby girl got me for Christmas. So sweet. So sweet. Alright. Fashion file really does do you good. I'm telling you. They don't just hand you over your bag and say here you go sometimes it might not have a ribbon sometimes it might something like that no they go the extra mile they send you thank you notes a card with all these little cute little things that just get everywhere <laughs> the receipts always in a cute little envelope like this super cute and they always send a fingernail file so cool of them and a 2022 calendar okay so they really do like they they go all out with their packaging and all that kind of stuff because you get a dust bag from them so here is that i'm going to set this box down here <sighs> cannot wait to have a bigger space to open these things up so here it is again let's get into this it says use. Use is the new new. That's what the sticker says. Use is the new new. Okay. We'll see. We will see what they talk about. I do like that they put them in their own dust bags. And it's even better when they send the original dust bag. But I don't think it did, they did on this one because I don't see it in the box. But yeah, so there's the dust bag. And y'all, I use these dust bags for like whenever we travel. Like I put my shoes and stuff in them. I mean, they're great for that. And, and then stick them in my suitcase. Perfecto. Perfecto. Or anything, like, whatever you want separated. So, here we go. Here she is. So, this is the one I chose. They had this one that was new and a black one that was new. And given that I have so many black bags, the beige is catching up. I went with the beige instead. And I also, I had looked at these bags in the YSL store at one point in time. And I really do like this color. And it was a really hard decision because the black is beautiful too. Especially the black on black. Oh, those are, those are really pretty. So, she definitely looks brand new. I can definitely tell you guys that. And I paid under retail for her, by the way. So, she has the fashion file tag. So, I know that you need to look over these bags before you take that tag off or else if something's wrong with it, then you can't get your full refund. So, here's the strap with the leather at the top for your shoulders. And this is like a bronzy gold hardware. Definitely. It's, it's definitely got a bronze tone to it. And I love that. I think that is just so pretty when it has the bronze look to the gold hardware. For sure. Very pretty. All right. So she looks great on the outside. You can definitely tell it's new. Oh, so they did send the dust bag, which is in the bag. Okay. So they sent the dust bag. I'm excited to try the YSL bag. How many people out there are YSL fans? I want to know. Comment down below. I'm just assuming this is just like some paperwork. And, um, yeah. So I'm trying to get all this out before I show you guys the inside of the bag. Okay. The inside is a black textile lining, or at least it feels that way. Canvas, maybe? I'm not sure, but it's not leather, and it's not fi a microfiber, so I'm going to go with textile. I'm just not real sure what YSL calls it. But anyways, it's black. It's got a flat pocket right here, 
I don't know if you guys can see or not. And then it's got a zipper pocket right here, opening right there, and an opening right there. This bag is beautiful. Like, I'm thinking as long as this bag holds up well, this will not be my last YSL bag at all. Like I said, my birthday's coming up, so the black may be in the future. So I'm going to give you guys the dimensions and the price of these bags each and so I can compare them and also like what fits inside to see like which is better of the three brands, okay? Because these are all three almost the exact same size. The Louis Vuitton is a little bit smaller, but she can hold a lot, you guys. She can. So this beauty is 9.8 inches across. 6.6 .6 in height and 3.5 if you're wondering why i'm looking down it's because i wrote things about it so it's in the dark beige color and 100 percent calfskin leather got the white quilted over stitching so that's really pretty and this is this metal hardware is i mean it's embedded in this you guys this bag like it's going nowhere and it's got the snap closure it's, I know it will close easier once I have things in the bag. I've definitely learned that through all these bags. When they are not full, they are harder to shut for sure. Yeah, so magnetic closure. It's got the overstitching. 100% calf leather. You know, you guys know I'm not a big fan with, with the chain straps that do all this kind of business. But I make exceptions sometimes, okay? I am definitely making an exception with this bag because she's absolutely 100% beautiful. She is a good size bag. This is the back of her. And y'all, I definitely paid under retail, but the price for her, if you were to buy her from the YSL store, is $22.90. I want to say I paid $2,100 with tax. Yeah, something like that. And she's, so she's brand new. Brand new for $2,100. I'd have to, I should have went back and looked to see what I paid on Fashion Fall, but I didn't. But I remember looking at it when I ordered it and it was under the, re, under retail. So, so yeah, for a brand new bag, I mean, I'm not real sure how YSL holds value. I believe she's going to be a really good bag. I do. So, other than that, let's see if I wrote anything else down. Nope. Mm -mm. Didn't write anything else down about her. What do you guys think? So, I'm going to, real quick, show you guys what fits inside of her that I carry every single day, and which are my necessities. Of course, I've got a lot more in this bag because I can carry more in this bag. But, the necessities are always inside of my mini pochettes. That I keep it like that. It's easier when I switch bags over. And then, I'm going to try to always keep these um, in my bags as well because they're antibacterial wipes. So like we go in a restaurant or something, I'm wiping things down, you guys. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I've got my small wallet with me still. And other than that, my sunglasses. Everything else is in my mini pochettes that I have that I have to carry. Okay. So let's see what fits in this beauty. I'm so excited to have a YSL bag. Like I feel like I'm cheating on Louis Vuitton because you guys, I'm a Louis Vuitton girl. But sometimes you just got to, like, test the waters. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm done. All right. So, one push, one mini pochette is in. That's a plus. That's a plus. Second mini pochette is in. Double plus. Y'all like my hair I got going on today? That messy bun business. All right. That's honest to goodness, you guys. This is mostly every day what I'm going to look like. <laughs> no lie. Okay. Sometimes I'm, I just like to fix up my hair for you guys. All right, I put my wallet down in the zipper pocket. And the other thing I would definitely want to try to get to fit are these antibacterial wipes. And then, if possible, my shades. If not, I never, I don't really care too much about my shades fitting in my bag because I can always stick them on my head or even right here, like on my shirt if I need to. Actually, I'm going to take them out because I forgot I need my phone in there. And I think this is probably going to do it. I don't want to overload this bag or stretch it out. But I have both my mini pochettes, my antibacterial wipes, my wallet, my phone. And I didn't put anything in that back pocket. 
So I could actually put a card holder in here. And YSL has some really cute card holders. So that might be um, a thing. I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. All right. So let's see if she, or let me show you guys first, I guess. So that's, that's pretty much to its limit, I would, I would say. I wouldn't put anything else in here. Maybe a lipstick or something, but that's nothing. That would, would not be a big deal on the lipstick. Most of the time I use a little Mac Mini, so you can almost always stick one of those in any bag, pretty much, because they're so tiny. All right, so I'm gonna try her on for you guys because this is the first time to ever try on one with something in it. So, okay, she's really cute. I really love the color. And this, it says dark beige, but I guess it is a dark beige. It's just not brown. So there she is with just the two straps like that, which I've been doing more of lately when I carry my bags because it's just easier. And then here she is. Y'all know one day I'm not going to be all hooded out. So here she is as a crossbody, which also is perfect too. And, I mean, she literally fits me exactly where I would want her to fit crossbody. 100%. Okay? And I am 5'4". So, 5'4". And you guys that have been recommending getting YSL bags, you know what you're talking about. You do. Because, so far, as long as she holds up, which I wouldn't see why she wouldn't, I definitely think this is going to be a great bag. As far as look-wise goes, she's absolutely beautiful. As far as what she holds, she holds everything I need. Price point, I think she's definitely has a really good price. I mean, I buy Louis Vuitton a lot, so I know for their leather bags, you're not going to hardly get this type of leather bag for $2,200. I, I don't think you will. That's just my opinion based off of what I've bought. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's priced pretty good for what she is. I do. So, moving on from the YSL, and I'm just gonna sit her right here because I'm going to end up putting these things into another bag, okay? So, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna do Louis Vuitton last because save the best for last in my opinion. In my opinion. Just because I am a Louis Vuitton girl. I know, but I don't know. She's pretty cool. It's just that Louis Vuitton just has so many different bags. That's all. And Louis Vuitton has always just been my go-to, you know, luxury bag. Always has. Gucci makes beautiful bags. I have several of those. I've showed you guys my Gucci collection. Um, I have nothing against them. The prices are not bad at all. It I mean, I, I realize they're all expensive. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. But as far as a luxury bag goes, I don't think Gucci has bad prices at all. And they hold up well. I have not had any issues at all. I don't think I'm going to have to use my scissors on this, you guys. Oh, my gosh. What is, it, what is Gucci doing? What did they do? Because this is like almost merely impossible to open. Oh. <laughs> okay, Gucci didn't do anything wrong. I did. I'm, I'm, yeah. Gucci did nothing. There, it's an easy open box. Okay? But guess what? I'm too excited to just look for it. I'm too excited. I was just trying to get into whatever opening I saw. Moving on. Oh my gosh, and it's still got the Christmas wrapping. Okay, cute. And they sent a Gucci bag, little dust bag thing. That's cute. Like a little tote bag, mini tote bag. Huh. Cute, cute, cute. Cute. Still doing the holiday wrapping. I ordered this online, you guys. So, But you guys, hang on. Look inside their box. And it's a Gucci box that the bags come in. Like, is that not the cutest ever? Gucci knows how to, how to do things up right, okay? They're bad A. They are. So here is the beautiful Gucci box. The first thing I ever bought from Gucci was their slides. And I have a couple pair of slides from them. And I love their slides. It's so pretty. It's so hard to unbox. <laughs> I mean, it's so hard to take the wrapping off because it's so pretty. I'm not going to untie it. I'm just going to take it off like this. So hopefully I can. 
So it can be another pretty display box. So here we go. Oh my God, stop. This is so cute. Look at the inside. Look at that. It's This is like a maroon, but this is like new. Okay, hang on. I got to show you guys. Wait, I can't just like show show y'all from that far away. Nope, 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 nope. This is so cute. Check it out. It's like an old-timey newspaper. And oh my God. This is the cutest like tissue paper I've ever seen in my life. Gucci, you're on to something. I don't even know that I can throw this tissue, pa tissue paper away. Like, uh-uh. Something's going to be like... I'm going to frame it or something, you guys. I'll figure out some kind of crafty thing to do with it. Because this is like the coolest tissue paper I've ever seen. Ever. Ever. I'm going to have to show you guys again. One more time. One more time. Look at this. Okay. They know what they're doing. Whoever works for them... Yeah, they need to be there. All right, so here she is in the dust bag. So excited to see this because this I have not seen in person. I have actually seen the wow sale bag in person, but this I have not seen in person just on the website, okay? <laughs> I was so excited to get Christmas money because I was like, okay, I'm adding it up in my head. And these Gucci bags are more on the lower end cost of all the Gucci bags in general. So like, yeah excited and because I sold another purse too so when I sell one I buy one okay here she is and I ended up going with the gray as you can all see so pretty so pretty oh my gosh and the silver hardware is like a matte silver so I did not know how that would look in person with it being up against the gray, I was afraid it was going to like blend in, but it does not blend in at all. It really stands out. If you can't, if it's not showing on there, trust me when I say it definitely stands out. Totally stands out. This gray is beautiful, and I do not have a gray bag. So, which I went by the popular vote, like I said I would because I like to stick to my word, but I was sure hoping for those gray votes. Because I have so many black bags, and I don't have any gray ones at all. Not at all. First gray bag. And it's got that bronzy hardware, too. Like, that is really pretty. Okay, okay hang on. We're, this, is, this is something different. This is not like my other Gucci bags. But it's easy, though. So I'm just going to go with the last one. We'll, and we, can, we can always adjust it later. But it is adjustable. I really love this bronze toned hardware. Oh my gosh. This is seriously like so beautiful. I just not, cannot quit looking at it. And I love all the quilted detailing on it. So, so pretty. So And, and I know a lot of people don't care for the zippers to have this strap on it. But I do. And when I store them, I just lay it over like this. So it's not all like cray cray when it's off. So I like it because it makes it easy to zip and unzip for sure. So let's open her up, okay, and get this tissue paper out. By the way, YSL is made from Italy. I don't know. If I looked that up because it didn't say it. I don't believe. I just whenever I was looking up like the measurements and stuff, I just seen where it said made in Italy. So I'm assuming I guess all of their bags must be then. I think if they would put that in there. All right, so, and like this one doesn't say where it's made from, or maybe it does. Hold on. Yeah, it, this one's made in Italy. I don't know why I care about that so much, but I do. Like, I just like to know. Like, I, it's on, it doesn't matter to me, but I still like to know. All right, so here she is on the inside, and she's got the, I'm sorry, you guys, I've got my candle burning over here. I am playing with fire, literally. <laughs> Alright, so she's got a good leather pocket right here against the beige microfiber lining. And yeah, that pocket's a good pocket because that leather one might keep things from like falling out. Here's just some paperwork from that. And yeah, so there's only one pocket on the inside, but that's okay. That's okay. And then here's the other side where it's just got where it says Gucci made in Italy. No, it does not. I'm sorry. 
Gucci Made in Italy is on this on the pocket. It's got some numbers on that little thing in there, that little leather piece. This really is so cute. Okay, let's see what fits inside of her. Let's see. Hello, phone. Like, literally, hello. Okay, all right. So here goes one mini pochette. Plus... Here goes the second mini pochette. I want one of the little Gucci pouches. Those are so cute. But I want to see one in person because I'm kind of confused with it, with the sizing of them. Because the medium and the key, I think one's called the key pouch and then, and then there's one called a medium, are the same exact price. So, I want to know like, yeah, I just want to definitely see them in person because of course I want to get something that's a little bit bigger for the same price, but I also want it to like, not be too big for the for the Gucci bags that I have. So here's the little antibacterial hand wipes. Those fit. Next comes, well, this is in no particular order because obviously the wallet would have needed to have been the first thing. The wallet and the car keys are what good do I need a purse? <laughs> what good? Okay, I need to put my phone in there. And the phone... It's not a must because I usually have it on me, but in case I need it to be a must, I need to be able to fit it in there. So, everything fits perfect. And that's my wallet, my phone, two mini pochettes. And again, I never have to carry both mini pochettes. I just like to if I can because I like the organization of them. But I always can just lay these right on top of, in my, of everything inside my bag. And everything still fits. So, let's zip her up. She zips up just perfectly fine. She is not overstuffed. Everything fits like a glove in there without being overstuffed. That's very important because I don't like for my bags to look like they're stretched out or for them to feel like they're stretched out because that's when I will start taking stuff out, you guys. Because, uh-uh, don't play that game. So, yeah, she's so beautiful. I love her so much. Okay, let's, let me give you guys her measurements, okay? So, she is, I had my phone holding down my paper, but guess what? My phone's in the bag, so. She is 9.5 inches in length, 5 inches in height, and 3 in width. So, her and the YSL bag are not too much difference in size. But, she is $14.90 before tax. The YSL is $22.90 before tax. <laughs> that's quite a bit of difference you guys a, l a little less than a grand but that's a big difference and this is a beautiful bag okay so it's all in preference at this point to me on well, the price so far Gucci's ahead oh here she is as a shoulder bag and she's a little long I like them more about like right here but that's okay so let's see what she's like crossbody because that's always my go-to anyways and she is perfect crossbody 100% she's beautiful and she will look so cute with like black clothing and white clothing and dark gray clothing yeah so you guys this is the dark gray Gucci Marimont bag in the small Beautiful, beautiful. And I don't know if, you, if I told you guys, this is also in the small. The YSL is a small bag. It's a small Lulu bag, okay? The puffy one. You know, you guys know I leave that stuff out. Y'all know I do, okay? Even though I write it down, I don't want to just stare at my book. But I leave things out. So, small Lulu, small Marmot, okay? Anyways, before I move on, am I keeping her? Absolutely, yes, I'm keeping her. So far, Gucci is the winner of these three. Okay. The last one. Let's show her. Move over receipt. We don't need you. Okay. Okay. Here we go. They're just getting sloppy, you guys, but they're, <laughs> they're wrapping. Like, leave it on. Step up your game. Look how Gucci just did. Look at Fashion File. It's not even a boutique, but look how they boxed it. Gucci, they boxed so well. Leave it on. 
Come on. What's wrong with you guys? Just playing. They're probably... There's nothing wrong with them. I'm just joking. I like to joke. Alright, so... The Christmas wrapping is gone. We've moved on from that. So we're back to the original blue. I was so excited to find her. I was. Here she comes. Palm Springs Mini in a monogram coated canvas with the black strap and the little black hook that I don't know what they think they're, they were doing with this little thing down here, but whatever. It's there. I have not tied a scarf to my other one. I doubt I'll be tying one to that one because it's what it says. It's just like a, a scarf loop or something of the sort. But that's okay. Still got the little flap and this little pocket's still not going to hold anything. But maybe some of my little alcohol wipes for my phone. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's pretty tight. Okay, so I don't even got to zip it. Moving on. So, I think she's beautiful. She's so beautiful. And again, I know I have it in the reverse monogram, but... You guys, there's going to come a time that we're either going to have to buy these bags off the pre-loved market or we're not going to be able to get them. So, unless they are just like pretending and they're going to like just keep releasing them forever, it's just harder to get them. It's becoming harder to get the canvas bags. So, it came with black straps. I'll try her on the way I'm going to wear her. I'm not going to put both of the straps on because I'm not going to wear both of the straps. I'm not going to wear her as a backpack. But that's the good thing about this bag. It's so versatile. You can wear her. The girl who was putting the strap together did not do it right. Anyways, you can wear her in multiple ways. As a backpack, as a crossbody, as a shoulder bag, as two straps slung over one shoulder. Yeah. I like to wear her as a crossbody. Or I like to wear her sister as a crossbody and that's how I will wear her so I think they're so cute that way it's actually the only way maybe as a backpack like just a sling on or something but I'd probably use my just regular monogram strap on this but the black is okay too it is all right I just like my I like the monogram up against the monogram okay so if you want to wear her like this, you can, which is which she's very cute like this too. She is. And I'm not going to say I'm not going to wear it like this because a lot of times when I'm getting out, I just throw it on like this. But my fave way to wear it, and this is totally, again, why I put my own strap on is because it's too short with the straps that they send. Is This is her as a crossbody, not adjusted to the way, to the length I would wear her, but there's no point in me adjusting it right now because you guys know what she looks like when she is adjusted and it would be more down here I would have it more lower but yeah I definitely like to wear it crossbody when it's adjusted right and if not over the shoulder is cute as well so wearing her as a backpack is it's a rare occasion because most of the time I'm not gonna have two straps with me anyways so I wear my bigger backpacks as a backpack I wear these as a crossbody Okay, all right, let me tell you guys her size. So, she's smaller than these two bags, okay? Keep that in mind when we're talking about, when we're comparing these, because I want you guys to vote on which one's your fave, okay? Keep in mind, she is smaller, but she does hold a lot. All right, 6.7 inches in length, 8.7 inches in height, and 3.9 in width. So the YSL Lily bag is 3.5 in width, the Gucci Marmont bag is 3 in width, and this one is 3.9 in width. So, on width-wise, they're all about the same, okay? So, let's see what fits inside of her, all right? But, yes, yeah, she's so precious. She is so adorable, and I will definitely put something on her cute, some kind of little zipper charm, something. I don't know. I will definitely find something to make her cute to dress her up all right gucci bag you are heavy chickadee okay let's get my stuff out of here so first we're going to start with 
my mini pochette that has everything in it. And I'm going to put her in standing straight up. I already know from my other one that's what I need to do. Let me see if she will fit side by side with her. She will. Not side by side. She kind of overlaps, but that's okay. It's okay. It's all right. As long as she's in there. Wallet's in. Antibacterial hand wipes. They're in. So, still got room for our lipstick. Probably could put something else at the top if I wanted to. I don't know what, but something could go up there. Y'all, so she definitely might be smaller, but she can carry just as much as the Gucci and the YSL bag, okay? She can. And that is her. She, she just has the one zipper, which is perfectly fine to me. And yeah, she's got the little pouch in the front. If you guys ever need to put like something teeny, 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 tiny in there, you can. She's got the gold hardware. Let's see if we can figure out where she is made from. I did not even think to look for that. Okay. I'm going to assume she was made in the U.S. because it says just it just says Paris on there. So there's no point in me even trying to find where she's made because I already know. I know how you Louis Vuitton folks work, okay? So she costs twenty three hundred though. All right, so she's twenty three hundred. Gucci Marmont Small is fourteen ninety. YSL is twenty two ninety. So twenty three twenty two. $14.90. Okay, I think you're going to get more bank for your buck with the Gucci bag. I do. ISL bag is 100% calfskin leather. That's awesome. The Gucci bag is Madelise leather. I'm not really sure what that is. Someone please let me know in the comments if you do, because I don't. And this is a canvas bag, as you all know. By far, Gucci wins on the price-wise. Now, as far as preference goes, I think everybody has their own preference on which brand they like the most. So, if I had to just keep one out of the three, I would definitely keep the YSL because I don't have a YSL bag. And she's absolutely beautiful and I love the bronze gold hardware on her. And, yeah. And the next would probably be the Gucci because I don't have a gray Gucci bag. And I do at least have a Palm Springs Mini. It's just in the reverse monogram. But none of these three are going anywhere anyways. So that's just my choices. Of If I were to have to choose between the three, I would definitely go with the YSL bag first between these three. Which one would you guys choose? Just let me know in the comments below. I really do want to know you guys' opinion, okay? So that is going to wrap up my video. And luckily, I'm not wrapping up anything anymore praise jesus christmas is gone i always miss the joyful time of the year it is and the and how generous people are and how people are so much more kind unless you're fighting over like a popular gift and then people get really mean other than that i really love how people are so generous and so loving during the holiday season but all things must come to an end, and since it did come to an end, I'm, I'm happy to move on to 2022. So, I just want to thank you guys for liking and commenting and sharing and subscribing to my videos. And if you guys do not know, I am doing a giveaway and I will link in the description below. Uh, you guys, I'm giving away a Damier Bean key pouch. You've got to check that out because it's an easy giveaway. All you have to do is share my link to your friends and your families, co-workers, whoever. Have them comment your name. And whenever I get to 500 subscribers, whoever has the most names wins that key pouch. And I have it right here. Just one moment. Here is the giveaway that you guys could easily win just by getting people to subscribe and comment your name on that video that I'm going to link below. This is the winner. We'll get this. Yeah. So I am 149 subscribers away from 
tallying up the most names that gets commented to win for this prize for this little for this Louis Vuitton key pouch. So you guys have to go and check out that video and have people subscribe and enter your name because this is a cute. This is I, I promise you, if you do not have one of these, you will love it. You will love it if it's all your cards, your debit cards, your license, everything. You can throw it down in your purse, clip it inside of your bags, whatever you want to do. Clip it to your keys and go. So this box is just sitting and waiting for me to hit 500 subscribers. And one lucky person will win that, okay? So, so far, Winnie B. L. V. is ahead of the game, you guys, because Winnie B. don't play, okay? She's scary. She can get scary. So, watch for her. If she starts seeing names pop up, she's going to up her game. I promise you. <laughs> so, if you want to beat out Winnie, BLV, better start working now. Because <laughs> she's gotten me a lot of subscribers, you guys. She has. All right. So, I'm going to let you guys go on that note. And I'm just going to end this video like I always do. And by saying i hope you guys all have a great morning day evening or night whatever the time it is that you're watching this and for me it's a good evening and i will see you guys back soon with another video bye